but we're gonna go under the thigh ply or sometimes what I call the flipper right here. Some people teach to karate chop it like this because they say you get more pressure out of this than you do out of the flat hand. You get something out of the flat hand too though, you get a grip. So you can play with both, I don't care too much. Go like this or grip, whatever. And then with this one, apply some force going out. So you're spreading this table and you're trying to bring his hand out. You're trying to knock it out that way. But I'm not going too low. Low would give me a lot of leverage, but the problem is if he lifts, like if I wanted to hit it for a second, I would do it low. But if you apply force, he'll just move his elbow. Yeah, that was kind of terrible. You can do better. Now just lift your arm up. Oh, yeah, you, you got it. This is all about path least resistance. The guy's putting pressure right here, you just go, you just limp it and let it slip right out. Go ahead. That's better. Okay. Okay. Now, so I stay in the armpit, closer to the armpit, so he can't do that. There's no way, like as high as he lifts his arm, straighten out your arm above your head. Yeah, you see, I'm still following his arm. Right here, I'm applying the force here, and I'm shifting weight, if you notice, towards this direction, and I'm gonna start traveling in a circle. I don't get ahead of myself. Like getting ahead of myself would be like this. See, my hands are still over here. I gotta bring everything together. So as I I'm pushing forward, I'm bringing everything together and running down. Once his wrist goes to that, I'm gonna grab that wrist. If he wants to keep it away, that's fine. He's never getting up. The moment he wants to try to get up, he's gonna pull that arm and you're gonna grab that wrist. Once you guys get this wrist, roll it, put some pressure on it. Now you're gonna see some different hips. And I might as well just discuss it because I just did it. Watch. You might see some right hip. You also might see some left hip. Like this, this is more left. You see my left, I'm like dipping this way as I'm putting that force. And then the earlier one, I did it with my right hip. I kind of went this way, okay? Again, this guy wants to lay flat, he can lay flat. Ryan, when I fall, I don't want to fall. So I'm not going to do this. I'm going to fall here. Because I want to stay up. That's the reaction. He probably just wants me to look good. But that's the problem with the martial arts. They grab your finger and then you go, ah! And that's just terrible for learning. Nobody does that, okay? So it doesn't mean you gotta be, then I gotta flip the other side. Don't be a dick partner. Come on, bro. You really gotta put the pressure on me because otherwise I'll never fall down. You don't have to be like that either. Just relax. Have fun. So when I put pressure, I drop him right here. I go in for that wrist. Roll the wrist. Continue. Breaking him down. Keeping your weight on him. Step over like the mount. I can come into a claw right here. I can take this out. This one out. Start coming over for the neck if I wanted. You know? And then end up taking the back. We're gonna make a choke. There's many ways you guys can go from there but this is called a spiral ride, spiral breakdown. We just did this like two weeks ago. Wasn't even that long ago, we did this. So I'm here, applying that force, getting that wrist, rock, walking around the, the, the front. Sometimes we're gonna get into pulling the wrist out behind the back. And as I pull the wrist out behind the back, this would be great for like, just control police officers, stuff like this. And we can arrest this dude, okay? Um, We'll get into that too. Maybe a little bit of that at some point. Okay, right now we gotta get ready. Jess, Jess is gonna fight this weekend, so we gotta get him ready. So I'm really just wanna, the perspective of today and this week is we did takedowns last week. Now we're controlling the guy so the guy can't get up. Okay, we all have to have submissions, but you, you can't get to a submission in a fight if you can't keep a guy down. If he's constantly getting up, you never get to that arm bar or that rear naked choke because you, every time you take the guy down, he's trying to get back up. So I'm, I want to that's kind of where my mind is, focusing on keeping that opponent down. Submissions will come if we keep him down. If we wear him out, submissions will come. Makashev versus uh, Oliveira, what happens? After the fight's been going for a while, all of a sudden the greatest black belt that like is the best at submission 
get submitted because even he can tire out and part of it was getting hit. That helps too. You're rocking a guy and knocking him down helps in getting that submission. But it takes time to wear a guy out. Don't just go for it in the first 30 seconds. You gotta weather a storm usually in a fight for a little bit, wear them out, okay? So spiral breakdown or spiral ride. Both of those phrases are correct. Spiral ride, spiral breakdown. You know what that is now. Under the arms, moving the hands like this and circling towards the head. Break them down, get the near wrist, roll it. Keep the pressure on. You could use the flipper to throw a hook in if you like, okay? Especially if a guy braces really hard and you're not strong enough to break him down, that's also a great time to throw your hook in, okay? If you just open him a little bit. Let's go, one, two, three. Break him down, he builds up. So running that spiral, good. And let him build up, he builds up, stay on him. He floats to the other side, run it. Break him down, good. He builds up, keep the weight on him. Guys, they're starting to show me a little softness right there. Keep the weight on him. Keep the weight on him, Jesse. Run him, run him, come on. Break him down, run him. He builds up, run him, run him on the other side. Good. Constantly working on the first shot. This is drilling. This is how you practice. It's gonna be with resistance. Eddie's working on the bottom. He's fighting against this energy that he's feeling. He's not going with the flow. If you guys have a guy that rolls over the side of the floor, like on the next one, Eddie, you just kind of cave in. So you'll, you'll fall to your left hip probably. No, that's your right hip. You'll probably fall to your left hip. Like a lot. Uh, Jesse, run. Yeah, if he runs to this side, he, Jesse can just collect under under the neck and like a deep claw and just drive you right over and get up into side control, maybe a possible arm triangle down the road. But some guys will react like that. But remember, the guy that rolls over to his back is not planning on getting up, at least in the next couple seconds. He's gonna then have to fight you off to get his guard to push and kick you away with his legs in order to get back up in base. Mm -hmm. And that's, a, that, that's not as easy as some people think it is. Like, when Jesse knows how to do this, and when Eddie goes over to his back, like, like yeah, it would be oh, the other yes. way, and then he tries to get his guard, but you have a deep claw, yeah, shoot that arm around the neck, and he's trying to push you to get up. Remember, even if he gets guard, he's not gonna get up. If he wants to get up, Jesse, he has to kick you away, but look where you are. Yeah. You're on top of him. In order for you to frame, get up, get up. You know, your coaches are on the corner and the cage is over here. Like frame. And they're going, Eddie. come on, Eddie, we gotta get back to our feet, Eddie. Eddie, get back up. Yeah, it's like. And then, so what ends up happening in the end of Eddie is he goes, getting up is not an option. I guess it's time to do jujitsu. Jiu so then he does jujitsu. What is jujitsu? What do I mean by that? He goes, guillotine, kimura, let me set up a sweep. Like, He's no longer trying to get up. Yeah. You're better off getting up by bridging and turning your knees than you are by getting up in base like we learned in jujitsu. Getting up in base as we learned in jujitsu is great, but it's a different position. It doesn't happen when a guy is on top of you in your guard. Okay, it doesn't happen from here. If you, it, it, only if the other guy retreats and tries to do jujitsu like this. That creates the space. He, now you can get up in base. Mm -hmm. But if you have a forward pressuring person, you're not gonna get up in this manner. You're like, if you're on top, and I'm here and he's leaning on top of me, and I'm here, I'm gonna get up by doing this. You guys see that? And that's why it then tends to look more like wrestling. Okay? And that's why we need the spiral ride. Because guys in fights are gonna get up. Their, co their corner's gonna tell them too. Hey, get up, get up, just get up. Because they only have a minute. Remember, they're working on a time clock. They got two minutes. They're like, we gotta get back up, we gotta knock this dude out. And how, what is the likelihood of him knocking you out while he's on his back? It's not gonna happen, it's not happening. right? He might be great with some Tony Ferguson elbows, might score a little bit of points, but he's not gonna KO you, okay? So, so that, that is huge. Run the spiral draw. You run it, Eddie, and be heavy, Eddie. Not, not nice. Oh, run the spiral. Break him down, he builds up. Keep the weight, see the knee? Stay on your toes, Eddie, stay on your toes. Run it. Stay on your toes, stay on your toes. And every time when, when he's doing this, keep going, guys. Jesse is thinking, can I get up? 
can I get up? Like, can you stand up? Like, almost a tripod. Sometimes he starts to tripod a little bit, and he's still getting broken down, keeping all that weight on him. And run it, run it. What I mean by run it is roll that wrist and keep running them in a circle and pull those, those hips. Exactly. Staying on them. On your toes, guys. There's a lot of core strength that's getting built by Eddie right now. Okay? And you do this enough. Every time that guy builds his base, he's burning fuel. You're burning fuel, but so is he. Okay? He's carrying your weight every time. And then once he resorts to jujitsu and he says, I'll just go over my back, you're on top of him. Don't get in the knee bar. <laughs> they pressure him. Yeah. Eddie, stop flowing. Get on that guy. Pressure him. And now he wants to get up. He's pushing you away. You see, this is that mauling pressure that everyone right now wants to talk about. Like it's somehow Dagestan. Which, it's just wrestling, guys. But really? It's jujitsu too. <laughs> it's jujitsu too. I don't even want to call it wrestling. It's everything. It's all of grappling. We need to improve. Let's go. One, two, three. So, Get it. It's huge. Dagestani pressure. There's a difference. That Dagestani pressure. <laughs> it's the Dagestani handcuff. Ask DC if it's Dagestani. <laughs> no, 